the Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository. In the US, the Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository has been a problematic and a divisive project. Local communities and the state of Nevada have both opposed to the project. A mega project that was planned in light of a delicate global issue will round off this list. Compared to other environmental issues, nuclear waste is not as frequently discussed. It can be more deadly than anything ever since the dawn of humanity, though if not sorted properly. Nuclear waste is being kept above ground close to the power station it originated from. The scientific community does concur that burying this hazardous material far underground is the safest method for long-term deposal. The American government began looking for a long-term solution to this pending garbage issue in 1980s. Nevada's Yucca Mountain was chosen as the best alternative in 1987. It was far from any population centers and close to the most popular nuclear testing site in the USA. The trash from all around the nation was to be dumped in a tunnel complex that was located about 300 meters beneath Yucca Mountain. Yucca Mountain is not just a remote location but is also composed of ancient volcanic ashes. This prevents the Yucca Mountain from trembling and splitting while absorbing any radioactive waste. On on paper, Yucca Mountain appeared like a fantastic place to build a repository, but Nevada has none of it. There were approximately 100 nuclear reactor sites in the US, both open and closed, spread over 34 states, but none were located in Nevada. As a result, the public and congressional representative fiercely rejected the idea of serving as the nation's sole nuclear waste repository. The official hydrological and geological survey of Yucca Mountain have also come under scrutiny. The possibility of contaminating a local water supply led opponents to argue that the location was inappropriate for a repository. Native Americans who have lived in the area for millennia use the water source that flows into Amargosa Valley. The Department of Energy resumed construction after the project was approved in 2002 despite resistance. Nevada, though, only grew more hostile. They argued that frequent exposure while traveling would stigmatize Nevadans and hurt the state of tourism industry. According to the opponents, Nevada's lesser population and reduced representation in Congress are the main reason that the state is receiving the repository. The project was already heavily politicized by the time Barack Obama took office, and in 2010, the Obama administration decided it was no longer viable and stopped supporting it. A federal judge ordered it is a restart three years later, but since then little has changed. Yucca Mountain is no longer a part of the country's ambitions, according to the Biden administration. After 40 years, Nevada looks to have prevailed. The Yucca Mountain the project took decades to plan was plugged by legal issue and cost over 17 billion dollars but in the end it was never used and is still considered to be a useless mega project what do you think about this massive initiative stand do any of these have a chance of becoming helpful in the future in your opinion tell us in the comment section below Watch our video about the biggest mega projects never finished to learn more about comparable projects. We appreciate your time and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!